want to give a quick shout out to Dizzy Pink, Dizzy Hunter, Uriko Nonamura, Duke of Hype, Dan Soul, and Von Slicer for still participating in this tournament despite its shortcomings. Unfortunately, I was not able to obtain any top 5 or top 8 gameplay of the tournament as the grand finals footage was really the only thing I could salvage. You guys take it easy and enjoy the video. Welcome to the grand final set between me and Vaughn Slicer on a Bloody Roar Extreme. This happened on January 31st. Once again, I want to give a shout out to everyone that still stayed in the tournament and played and whatnot. But here we are. I uh, hope you guys like the custom portraits that are made for all of the characters. I did those a few days ago. Well, did these a few days ago, rather. Anywho, he's going meat puppet stun. I'm going default Udiko. Y'all already know the deal. Let's begin with the first game on Asian Gate. Alright, he's slowly approaching me. Alright, we're not overcommitting anything too much. Nothing's too aggressive, but I think I get hit by a tackle. Thankfully, it wasn't a counter hit. Alright, we got a 1pp quarter circle forward punch from me. Now I have the health lead. Alright, reset neutral a bit. By transforming himself to get me off of him. Alright, that was a counter hit low after the roll. Love that overhead. Love it when it brings down the opponent. Alright, so that was a good TK cancel guard attack on his part. Need to be more wary of that. Start light guarding. Yeah, the reason why he didn't hit me right there was because of the horn. Not horn, what the hell. It was because of the animation not being finished. You have to wait until it's completely finished. Not exactly sure how much frames it has, but either way, counter hit ram. That wall's broken. I'm in danger right now. Alright, so what I did here actually wasn't wise. Because one, uh, his meter was basically empty at that point. So there was no reason to try to break his defense. And taking that grab was also a mistake. I shouldn't have done that either. I, I'm assuming he tried to get a ring out there, but he was a bit too far in order to get it. Or a bit too far to get it, rather. I'm just keeping my space. I am at a health disadvantage right now. He has more health than me. Those are some good evades. Some good patience from Vaughn right there. Right. Time to get up attack just right. Got a counter hit B slide. Yeah, if I let my guard attack stay, like, if I didn't cancel it, I definitely would have gotten an overhead. Would have had priority. Caught him in a low profile on that launch. Got the overhead back beast. All right, he's out of his beast form now. Back punch. Try to break his guard. His light guard, to be exact. That right there was what I was trying to do in hyper because in hyper that, uh, what is it, six pk, six p, six k on that side, it definitely would have worked. He would have been airborne, but he wouldn't have been able to air recover. And I could have gotten the ball super. But the thing to keep in mind with Uriko when you're playing her on these uh, default walls is that that super can actually ring herself out. So I have to be very careful when playing this character on default walls because people might try to exploit that or take advantage of that. Alright, is he going to finish his food? Yes, he does. Vaughn with the health lead right now. Trying to keep some spacing. Overhead. Stomp cross up. Ran right under him just in time. Got the counter hit knee. Guard break. He's too heavy for me to do the up beast follow up after that. Alright, wall jump. Alright, I read the beast drive there. That's why I did the fuse stance. Because that beast drive is actually unblockable, so you gotta be careful when you're in front of stun. Because stun might just throw that out on you, and you can't block it. He actually has two unblockable beast drives. Uh, the one where he grabs you, as well as that one. So, I wouldn't even argue that stun actually has the best beast drives because of that alone. You know, just the fact that they can't be blocked. Anywho, grab tech there, transformed. He's near a wall. And I actually really like that you could delay the follow-up after that string once Udiko's hand is out. 
But now I'm in the corner, so this is a pretty dangerous situation to be in, especially with stun. And he's trying to keep me in the corner. Got the stomp, cross under mix up with the roll to the roll kick, which was a counter hit. That Arabe is saved me there, otherwise he would have just command grabbed me, quarter circle back punch grabbed me. And that's going to be it for game one. It was actually no hyper burst there. Thought he was going to do it, but at that point he would have just sacrificed health. And it basically would have been suicide at that point, so yeah. Anywho, here we are at Indian Palace. Thank goodness you could light guard transformations, otherwise uh, that, that would have hurt. <laughs> but he already has a quarter of my health down. Practically my health is halfway gone now. That was kind of interesting. I didn't really intend to stand there for too long, but I was just like, okay, he's not doing anything. So I'm just going to, you know, run it for a grab. Got to be very wary of that guard attack kick right there. That super barely connects, but as soon as he lands on the ground, I land on him, so it just worked out. That was good damage. I tried to do the, I tried to do the uh, air evade right there, but it didn't work, unfortunately. Timing was off. Yeah, that wasn't a counter hit ram. Yeah, for some characters, Uriko could just hop right over them. Or it's just a thing with timing when you down Beast Pursuit Attack. Um, it's not enough to get a standing back beast. Like, it doesn't have that much hit stun in order to do it. But he did press a button when he got up. So he got counter hit and it killed him in the process. But his health was basically empty at that point. If you're going to play Uriko, I also recommend that you do that OTG as soon as you knock down your opponent. Assuming you have enough time to do it. Animation priority. Air tech. Yeah, that was a counter hit since I did the low B slide. That was not wise on my part to do. Another OTG. Yeah, that OTG is really good. Especially when you land a... What is it? A 3K? When your back's turned? Or 1k, depending on what side you're standing on, because if it was on this side, I would have, it would have been a 1k. Anywho, we got some 3k spinning around going on. I'm trying to apply as much pressure as, po pressure as possible, but he does have the health advantage, and transforming does not help me in this case. So, maybe I should have saved meter in order to uh, hyper completely without sacrificing health. Just barely getting a ring out right there. Yeah, I had a feeling he was just going to walk up and try to grab, so I just quarter circle forward and kicked him out of the ring. Whenever someone just walks up to you like that, they're going to try to go for a grab, which honestly leaves yourself open. Got a lot of guard attacks going on. Good TK cancel off the guard attack. That's a really good string for stun. I don't see any other stun players doing that. Right, he tries it again, but he's also trying to ring me out, so at this point, uh, I'm not trying to like be near that wall so I'm just kind of following them but I'm also playing too much on the offensive here because again that TK cancel off that guard attack is really good uh, okay yeah no tech there right, he has health lead usually I will go for a quarter circle forward grab after that but I wanted to change it up combo doesn't follow through hyper pop off to get me off of him we're both at even health at this point. My health is fully restored. Got some light guards going on. I'm not trying to press any buttons. And I pressed the button. <laughs> or did a beast drive rather and got it canceled unfortunately. And once again, he takes the game with the health lead. Alright, we got the last round. Don't know why he sidestepped right there. That was actually pretty risky because... He could have gotten rung out. Try to go for the cross up stomp. Didn't work, unfortunately. That was a counter hit. And that right there was the first time Vaughn's actually uh, pursuit attacked me when he knocked me down. Because he never does that, like at all. So, well, he never did it before. 
Anyways, we got a... Anyways, we had a, a guard break right there. Didn't follow up, unfortunately. Yeah, that belly flop is very dangerous. When stun is above you, that's... Be beware that that, that that can happen. And he almost got rung out there. Didn't work, unfortunately, since... The wall was in the way. He almost got me there, too. So we're even. We're even in that, in that uh, aspect of the fight. Uh, we got a hyper. Alright, now I have meter. Canceled that punch after the string follow-up. Didn't want to throw myself at him, so I just jumped over him, buffered that super, and ran right under him. And that was game two. Vaughn has to get three games and then get three games again in order to reset the whole thing so this set is basically in my favor at this point he going back to meat puppet stun of course it wasn't intentional as stun didn't even load in but y'all get the point now we are back at Asian gate no other stages this time. I honestly should have went the aquarium because I love that stage. It's the most lively looking stage in this game, but whatever. This is the last game, at least for me. If Vaughn brings this back, then he brings it back. I say that as if I don't know how this is going to end, but you know. Anyways, we got a quarter circle forward grab. He finishes his food. Uh, yep, didn't want to overcommit there. That was a nice anti-air. I actually don't know the input for that move. Stun just did. Yeah, so at that point, I didn't want to evade it. Uh, since those are just normals, they aren't, they aren't really heavy attacks, so I could just light guard them. Canceled that kick right there. Got a grab tech going on. Guard attack. That was an interesting interaction there, but he did have the advantage. Got a guard break. Yeah, I didn't want to tech right there, just simply due to the fact that I'm in a corner, and I didn't want him to get the overhead. If he got the overhead, then that would have been dangerous. I guess he assumed I was going to run to him so he could do the belly flop. That was weird. That's just 3D game stuff. 3D fighting game stuff right there. But anywho, he won. First round. It's in, uh, this match is in Vaughn's favor so far, but the set is in mine. Oh, we got a normal throw. That was really good. Oh yeah, that up beast. That up beast is really good for guard breaking because it is plus, I believe. In most cases, you do have the advantage after landing that because you can get the back knee. So once her back's turned, you can get that knee that you just saw right there. Good TK cancel off that guard attack. Air tech, get off me. All the air grabs Vaughn is trying to try to land in this set, I've teched them. I've teched them all. It was a 2P2K. I got an OTG. Half my meter is there. I should have waited until my uh, meter was full, to be honest. It would have been better. That would have been better. And of course, I just wasted meter. But I still took the game, so it's not a big deal. One simple evade to a punch counter. And that was it. 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. Every both has a piece. That drop kick counter hit was pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Right, we got a tech right there, heavy guard. I actually didn't even know that I could heavy guard and then grab him afterwards. We got a few stance kick. Another one. That was my mistake right there. Don't want to get too overzealous with that because it doesn't do good damage at all. Try to get him again. So yeah, I'm not sure if I'm not sure if uh, trying to grab after that is safe. Also, pardon the brief lag. I don't know why that's happening. It's pretty weird. Right, we got a stomp. I should have jabbed. If I jabbed, he probably would have air recovered and I could have gotten a reset read, but I didn't do that. All right, the pressure is on. Ooh, we got a panic hyper. Yeah, he should have just light guarded, considering that he was at baby health, pixel health. 
Oh, it would have been safer if he did that. Ironically, I get an air grab. And the counter hit roll kick is going to send him out of the stage. Definitely something I wasn't expecting, but it is what it is because of what it was, you know? Anywho, that's going to be it for the set. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That was the Bloody Roar Extreme Tournament that took place. Well, Grand Finals anyway, that took place at on January 31st uh, at night. Took quite a while, but I'm glad Vaughn still played. And his stun was still very much fun to fight, even though if it, even if it was in a, a tournament uh, environment and whatnot. But anywho, you guys have yourselves a good one. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next upload, whenever, if ever. Peace.